Hello everyone, welcome to part 49 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first getting the e-commerce admin panel. After that, we will start working on the front end e-commerce website. Okay, so we will continue working on the products module. And in this video, we are going to add the filter option. Okay, so earlier on in the series, earlier on, uh, see few videos back, you can see that we able to add few of the filters. See, I assume that my website is, I am making the clothing related website. Okay clothing related e-commerce website see if you are making the electronics related e-commerce website then you are need to add the electronics related filters but if you are if you want both like uh, like the clothing as well electronics as well uh, or any other appliances or any other products as well then you need to add the filters for all okay you can add the filters in separate table as well but uh, uh, we can also add in the products table itself to make these things simple okay so now i am going to make the clothing related website so i'm going to add fabric pattern sleeve fit occasion filters and along with their values okay so we are simply going to add i'm going to close the earlier files okay so i'm going to open the product model here this is our product model and i'm going to create one function here uh, product filters in which we are going to add all the filters in array public static function uh, products filters products filters this is the simplest form of adding the filters okay products filter see if you want to dynamically add the filters then you can always watch my multi vendor e-commerce series okay you can always watch that series i'm going to uh, see uh, that is my best project like maximum time i have spent in that to create the things dynamic so everything is is dynamic if you want to uh, make that dynamic then you can simply open the playlist here and you can follow the advanced e-commerce series okay or the multi vendor e-commerce series uh, so uh, see we you can search the filters as well from here uh, we can also you can also search the filters here okay filters and here you will get the dynamic product filter see multi vendor okay dynamic product filter you can see the dynamic product filters okay uh, you will get uh, starting from uh, you need to watch from the product filter like it, it's a part 67 uh, okay otherwise you can surely contact me anytime i will give you the videos that you need to watch or you can also get the source code from me okay so from part 67 to up till at the end uh, you can uh, follow that okay so I'm going to check whether I have added in playlist as well. Maybe we have also added that in playlist. Filters. I'm going to check if there is any filters later. So I'm going to add uh, it in playlist as well so that it will be easier for you. Okay. So the filters, we have done the dynamic filters earlier as well that you can follow. So let's come back to here. Static filters. In its simplest form we are going to add the filters here and like uh, we are going to create the arrays i'm going to add here product filters here i'm going to create one by one like fabric array fabric array i'm going to add its value i'm going to create its array and we'll add its value like cotton you can add all the values that you want polyester P O L Y blister wool okay in cotton so after that I'm going to add the sleeve array in sleeve array we're going to add full sleeve half sleeve full sleeve then half sleeve then uh, short sleeve sleeveless this first full sleeve then half sleeves uh, then short sleeve means uh, shorter than the half uh, then sleeveless means no sleeves at all okay sleeveless Okay. 
and after that we are going to add the another filter that is the pattern filter pattern array in which we are going to add the pattern you can add more patterns as per your choice checked plain printer self solid see later on uh, in this series uh, we can also add these filters from the table so i'm going to convert these filters to dynamic later on okay if someone want to make it dynamic uh, in laravel 10 series as well then we can also do that okay so that thing i i, I will surely do but not now in the later on in the series we are going to make these filters dynamic okay so that you can add all the filters of your own choice like fabric like these also and these also see both the things you can add of your own choice complete filters you can update dynamically and that also in this easy way not that much complex in an easy way we're going to do okay so don't worry if someone wants to add this filter dynamically we will surely do that later on in the series okay so right now we will add statically for some of my friends that want uh, the easy things okay fit array so we have everything uh, okay simple to complex uh, but the complex things always uh, uh, see better than the simple one to use uh, but it will surely take some time so after fit array we are going to add the last one occasion okay, array make sure the spelling of occasion is correct it's wrong like this okay i always search in google if i'm not sure about the spellings then casual formal then we're going to return filters okay so now uh, we are going to modify the error editor function uh, and go to open the press controller once again and add edit product function here we are going to fetch uh, all the filters like we are fetching see commenting is uh, really important we can combine this one as well get categories and uh, subcategories sub subcategories as well okay no issue so now product filters uh, we will also fetch for product filters we're going to fetch from the product model okay so here uh, once again product filter product uh, i think uh, its function name is flux filters okay uh flux filters looks fine okay so i'm going to flux filters okay here uh, flux filter okay so now we are uh, calling this function flux filters and the same uh, we are going to return to plate file okay so i'm going to open the blade file now add edit product and here we are going to show the filters also we are going to show after search keywords or after product video we are going to show all the filters one by one okay so we require the drop down for filter as well like this one i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it here after truck video so i'm going to remove all because we will directly uh, going to uh, show here so first one is the fabric fabric so here fabric okay so here i'm going to add 
for each loop here I am going to check here like uh, this is the puck filters in which uh, this one we are going to pick up uh, like fabric for this one we are going to pick up uh, here as a dollar fabric and here we are going to throw this one and for each so here we are going to show all the values of okay, dollar fabric here like this Okay, so we're going to check once it's coming fine or not fabric and here you are going to see that fabric is fine cotton blister wool so it is fine okay so like this we are going to add all I'm going to copy this one and play, uh, play uh, place it for more than one two three four okay so I'm going to modify for all See after fabric, uh, we are going to add for this sleeve. Here, I am going to add here uh, sleeve. Okay. After sleeve, I am going to add for the pattern. So make sure that uh, we have replace here as well. Okay. Uh, sleeve here as well now pattern after the pattern we are going to add fit It, we are going to add occasion the last one okay so all are added we are going to check once fabric with all the values sleeve with all the values pattern okay fine fit fine and occasion fine so all the filters we able to add in the add product form so our add product form is ready now see this is the complete add product form see we can also if you want to change in design we can also do it like you can show two fields in one row so all the options are available like we have done the admin lte earlier also uh, see few years back we have done L uh, admin lt for our advanced e-commerce series in which we have added two fields in one row so all these things you can do as well uh, you need to explore more things in the in the template you need to uh, check files in the, in the template in which you are going to get all these kind of things okay so uh, our ad product form is ready in the next video we are going to insert the product details in the products table Okay, we are going to insert all these details in the products table in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but before that, one more thing we are going to do in the next video. We are going to add the validations as well. Okay, not only we are going to insert, but we are going to add the validations as well. And along with the validation, uh, one more thing we are going to do, uh, like uh, uh, we are going to still, we are required to fetch the final price. See, this two things these four uh, discount type as well as the final price we need to do in our backend and we need to insert the values here as well that also we are going to do in the upcoming video so please stay tuned uh, for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye